truck. So we got here, it's got a Ram 2020 uh, 2500 HD. Hemi? Yep, with a 6.4 liter Hemi. Um, I thought I'd do a review on these because a lot of people have been wanting to know how good they are. You know, what's so a lot of people are big diesels, right? I've been a Chevy guy pretty much my whole life, always had Duramaxes. Um, my father in law works for runs K&M in Wayland, uh, Dodge Chrysler, Dodge Jeep Ram. He is a big Ram guy and he got me hooked up with this and I'd never look back after the fact. I mean, this thing is, it's a beast. You know, I mean, a lot of people talk, you know, want to know about fuel mileage and everything like that and we'll get into that. But first thing I always say is when you buy a truck, what's the first thing you ask? I mean, normally, what can it pull? Not what it gets for gas mileage, right? Otherwise you get what, a Prius, Toyota? I guess. Yeah, something, <laughs> electric car. Anyways, so first start off, you know, they're, this is a level two tradesman. So it's got the chrome appearance package, which, I, I mean, I like it. I, I want a paint match and stuff like that, but I mean, it, it looks good. Um, it's This is the Patriot Blue, which I love, love, love this color. I like this too. Yep. But yeah, overlays, this, this don't usually come with overlays. I got these off the internet. Maybe I'll link the link product in the description. description yeah, I'll try to find the link and put it in the description for you guys, but these overlays are really, really impressive. Um, so anyways, it's crew cab, four by four. Um, this is called a crew cab? Yep, crew cab. Came with the running boards factory. I like these because they actually have the Ram logo built right into them. Now this will come with your level two tradesman package. So you'll get the chrome appearance package, which includes your front bumpers, <laughs> rear bumper, chrome as well. Um, you get a set of 18 inch rims. The tires, that's about the only downfall. The tires are kind of, eh, they're not the best, but they do the job. I did use, um, spray paint i can't remember what exactly it's called it's like the plasti dip stuff it's held up for i think three four months on it does look pretty good um if you come over to the front side you got your standard tradesman grill obviously the chrome these are all the too. yeah this is an overlay this regular just chrome you get tow hooks and also this is the snow chief package as well we'll go into that a little bit farther into the video don't have fog lights but you can get fog lights for these. They're a little bit extra of an add-on, but you can do aftermarket ones. You can do a whole lot better with just, these are just kind of pushed in clips. Um, don't mind the, not sure what happened here. My wife got mad at me. No, I'm just kidding. My my son, Braden, did you do that? No. Yeah, we, we don't know what happened there, but we're did, gonna fix that. Is that from a deer? <clears throat> I wish, because then we call insurance. Although we might go on insurance with this, don't we? All right, so if you come on to this side, uh, one thing we'll show us, obviously, the old oh, Ram always stick with the tow mirrors, and I've never understood why people leave these like this, but I think I finally found the reason why they do. Because, if you noticed, and we'll get into it eventually, I have a 40-foot enclosed trailer that we tow for racing, and when you have your mirrors like this, once you unhook your trailer, you can't see out of them. You have to keep readjusting them, so people probably, I'm assuming, leave them like this because then... Once they're set for your trailer, you can still see normally if you were driving. And they do look neat when they're like that. I will admit that. I do have window tent on here. Um, if you come to the back, I want to show them the one cool thing. Oh, don't look. Sorry, left it open. So with the tradesman, you get a backup camera, which is right here. Black light. No, I did that too. Mm, yes. Oh, you got I your seven-way plug, four-way plug. All right here, hitch. Uh, that does have LED lights for your license plate. One thing my, everybody seems to like, go ahead, show them. Got these cool little steps to get into your bed. Does have a locking tailgate. Um, this one did come with the truck bed liner, fifth wheel prep package, which is awesome. And actually, I don't know if I have it. I will see if I can find that in the next video, but. Uh, Ram does also sell the fifth wheel goose ball for this, which is what my trailer is, which is awesome if you ever have it, but these just kind of turn, usually. Now you like you haven't opened it in a long time. Like that, you drop the ball in, quarter turn, boom, you're ready to go. Same with these. So for your hooks, you turn those, it's a quarter turn, drops right in. Would recommend it. Um, 
come standard with your seven way up here as well. Four way back here. Tow hooks. Both sides. Tow hooks. Uh, truck bed lighting, or lighting, sorry. And I think if you hit the unlock button, I think it actually will light up. Maybe not. It's actually, yeah. They light up and they're really, really bright at night. And the inside. <laughs> oh yeah, all the lights light up. So, and then, uh, one more thing that I like about these trucks is the sliding rear window that comes standard with the tradesman, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, and then obviously, so the 6.4 Hummy, which I've been really, really impressed with for pulling wise. I mean, I pull a 40 foot enclosed trailer. You could go, you just get attacked by bees over here. Oh, uh, and it's, I don't even know what it actually weighs. It's probably, I'd, no, I'd say at least, probably at least 9,000 pounds just for the trailer. And then I pulled my race car, which is probably 3,000. Sorry, my wife's terrified of everything. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we pull a race car trailer, my son's race car trailer, in our golf cart, and all of our tools and tires. I mean, I'm, I'm probably fourteen thousand pounds. You know, and it's rated for I think fourteen two, fourteen four, somewhere around there. But I mean, it, it's, it's awesome. I mean, it doesn't doesn't hesitate. You know, it pulls it perfectly. It doesn't seem to be sluggish or nothing like that. Especially coming from you know, I've I've owned a LBZ, LB7. LMM, LML, and it, it would keep right up with them. You know, obviously, like, everybody has fuel mileage. I mean, I'm averaging when I'm pulling the trailer probably anywhere from 10 to 12. And I do 75, 80 on the highway the whole time we're going to the race. I got higher than the GoPro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's, we'll show them the, actually, you guys, if you want to hear it rumble, let's let them hear it rumble. I also added the remote start. If you go through K&M, they're able to standardize and use the factory right RAM. Yeah, go ahead. She sounds really good too. You got a nice little rumble. Here. You can unlock one. We'll come through and we'll show you the inside. I unlocked it. Probably gotta turn it off, baby. Yeah, go ahead and then we call oh, the truck. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I unlocked it. The, so you hit the start button again? Yep. There you go, good job. So you got cloth seats, um, no power seats. They do fold and recline. Um, power windows, power locks, just all standard. You know the plastic key. I mean, it looks it looks good. Um, can we show them the back. We will. We want Wait. Seat. Sit down. Wait. Should we show them this that comes into it? We know. Sit down. Or sit right there. Sit your booty right there. And then. Uh, it's got a glove box down here for lots of storage. Plus it has this. A lot, I know like the, a lot of the upper models, like the Limited, the Bighorn, let me have a glove box or an actual cover here. But I actually like the openness of this better than actually having an enclosed with a little button that opens. A lot of them have that. This one has the floor shift 4x4, four four, which I think I, I personally like it better. It me it has less room for air, you know, I mean, it's not electronic. So you know if that don't, if that don't work, then you obviously got more problems than just electrical. Uh, three couple of those up front. Nice big glove box. Let me go on the other side. Hold on. Yeah, it, they know. Hold on. There's something. Then thank you, let's see. Mm -hmm. Um, it's got a nice. This has got the upgraded. This has got the upgraded 8.4 inch screen. Um, most of them come standard with the. It's oops. The copyrighted. Energy Star status is. Um, a lot of them come with the smaller radio. This one with the level two came with the bigger screen radio, which is, I love this. Um, it doesn't have the navigation, but it has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which you can use for your GPS, which works a crap ton better than the factory ones. Cause it's, you know, you know how your phones work, you know, car ones. Um, so then with the level two tradesman, you get the six auxiliary switches. This is the Snow Chief package I was talking about earlier. Um, and you can set these. And you can have them, so by click of a button, if they're just on as the car turns on, or you can set them so they can pulsate. So if you had a light bar that you wanted to use only as an actual, like if you're plowing, 
to have it pulse as an on and off. You would it would actually pulse on and off as you hit the button. It's all through your settings and the radio. Um, a shifting knob instead of your old column shifter, which I personally is I think it's kind of cool. Uh, aftermarket little Mopar thing. You can get these online too. Push to start. Um, here's the display package of what you have through your. So you can do your mile power digital. They have uh, tire pressure. Oops, she can't see it. Coolant temp, trans temp, oil temp, oil pressure, oil life, battery voltage. You can do a whole gauge summary across it. Your fuel economy, trip, trailer tow gain, which this has the built-in trailer brake, which is awesome. Um, you can do your radio through there. It gives you messages, obviously, if you have something wrong with your vehicle. That's kind of that. Commercial settings, which is for the auxiliary switches that I showed you guys just a second ago. Tickle. You can set up each of those as how you want to control them. Tickle. It does have automatic lights. Why is there a golf ball right there, Dad? I stored it. It has the old grab handles that I love in the Rams. You have a nice little compartment up here to put your sunglasses. <gasps> it even says heavy. Yeah. Then it has a... This is for your sliding rear window. Back there. Yep. Controls the open and close. Which I love it. it. It's amazing how much air actually flies through that thing. So now we'll go to the back and I'll show you the I'm back already seats. in the back. You can pass it to me. I'm already in the back. All right, let's show them how big it actually is. So plenty of room. I'm probably, I'd like to say I'm five, what? ten and a half, but I'm probably more like five. We got to make that in the video. So <laughs> there's a lot of room back here. I mean, um, oh, hold on. Keep it scraped up. So there's a lot of room for your legs, if you can see. I mean, I have a ton of room up front, or for, <laughs> in the back. Right. Um, it's got two cup holders down here. Now, the only thing with the Tradesman is you don't get the foldable 60-40 split. Yeah. We will. We will. So you don't get the 60-40 split with the Tradesman. As in, you'd have this that opens up for cup holders, which, if you think about it, I mean, most of the time you don't really need that because you have two here because obviously if you're folding this down you're only gonna have two people with you so these are kind of in a nice little spot to reach um and then these seats and they're really comfy by the way really comfy folds up and you have a ton of storage down here for all kinds of stuff nice little pocket deep trays now the seats do not actually fold the whole way but i know there is a mod that i've seen on youtube where you can actually have it so the seats do fold the entire way okay buddy that's good there's a mod back here where these actually sit on where you have to trim a little bit off and you can actually get these to pick up and fold all the way down. He's on your dad when he's talking to you. First time, right, buddy? It's all right. <laughs> We're good. We love you. So, um, we'll step back outside the vehicle. I'll show Oopie. you underneath the hood. Show you the Hemi. <laughs> wait. All right, we'll wait. <clears throat> So here you have your 6.4 liter Whoa, Hemi. Heavy. I think they have like 420 horsepower, 419, and 400 foot pounds of torque, I want to say. Huge engine. Um, a lot of people, you know, do a year aftermarket air filter, which I haven't, i have pretty much, it's all stock. I would not change anything with it, but it has a spot for, if you wanted to run a dual battery setup on this side, you could run a dual battery setup, especially, like I said, the Snow Chief package. And what I was talking about earlier with the auxiliary switches is what's nice is they're already pre-wired for you. You don't have to do nothing. Ram gives you a package, which I have in there I should have grabbed. But it's already wired for you guys. So I already have one wired in because I was going to run a light bar on here. I haven't done that yet. But you have these clips that clip into this housing back here for your six switches. You pull, pull, this, pull these little covers off. They're just little rubber garments. And it's already wired in there. And all it gives you, I think, six six different ones you can use and you can wire them anywhere you want so there's always, always power there you don't have to worry about running ground none of that stuff it's all pre-wired for you just the hip you know click of a button it turns them on and off so you know most people they're meant for a pollen so but a lot of people either will do like fog lights or light bars or anything like that um like i said i've been very very impressed with it it's i mean i got i think 13,000 miles on it i bought it new um, it's pulled our huge 40-foot trailer like it's pretty much nothing. I mean, you know it's there, but I mean, it's and the ride quality is 
second to none. I mean, it's it doesn't have a leaf spring suspension. To me, it reminds me of like a four-link suspension. It has ladder bars, as, you, as I would call them, that come off to the side, and you have a coilover springs in the back instead of a leaf spring design. I know the three-quarter tons are leaf spring, but the half tons, or the sorry, excuse me, the 2500s have the coilover spring, and the ride quality is amazing just going down the road especially pulling a trailer and you know especially you think coil spring you think it's sag a lot but you know how every like gm has an ugly ugly rake in it and you know it's designed for when you're trailer and pulling to kind of level it out but this the rake on the rams is not as bad to me as what the chevys are and when this thing's fully loaded and we're hooked up it sits level it doesn't sag in the back it doesn't sway i mean it's perfect i love it i would convinced that i'm going to be a ram guy for life now over chevys and that's hard for me to say, but I'm very impressed with it. Um, if you guys are looking to get into a Ram or even used vehicles, get a hold of K&M, Wayland. I'll leave their link and their phone number in the description. Get a hold of Tom. That's my father-in-law. He'll be able to steer you in the direction of whatever you're looking for. Um, what do you love most about this truck, buddy? Give them give some pointers. What's your favorite? Give me three favorite things you like about this truck. Like how if you need to get in the back for something, there's this to help you get up. Yep. And what, what he was doing is what a lot of people try to struggle how to do these. There's a little lever right here, and all you do is and you just kick it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's one. Give me number two. How it has these, and then number three is has what? <laughs> number oh, the three steps. Is Number three is how comfy it is. Yeah, you got a lot of room in there. I mean, I know he's little, but I mean, look at all the room he's got in there. It does have vents. I didn't get, forgot to mention down here for your passengers in the back. Uh, it has this does not have any plugins in the back. Nope, that stays. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, I would instead of spending your extra, I mean, just from switching to Wait. the gasser, save me on an average of twelve thousand dollars. You know, I mean, even if I were to stick with the Tradesman, with the Cummins, but with the new Cummins, or I mean, even in any of the new diesels, I mean, there's so many emissions, there's so many variables that they're just not... Dad, yeah. tell me three, three favorite things you like about it. My three favorite things? Well, one, I love the color of this truck. It's... Same. It just... And they're mean looking. They're just... I don't know. I like the looks of the Chevys, but I think the Rams look mean. They look more like a truck to me. Um... And I love the 6.4 Hemi, I really do. I mean, it's very impressive, it's very responsive, it's quick, it's fast, you don't gotta worry about trying to find a diesel pump, I love it. So if you guys are looking to get into a Ram or even a used vehicle, uh, get a hold of K&M in Wayland, Michigan. I'll leave their link, their phone number description. You can ask for Tom Ancliffe or Brett Zander, they'll be able to help you out. They pretty much run the show there. Um, so what do they gotta do now? Comment, share, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you guys ding, next ding. time.